Hi everybody, I'm Gemma. Hope you're keeping well and staying safe. So today I wanted to post a review of a wig that I've had for some time and that is John Reno's Heidi. It's a beautiful wig that I have on my head. Um, and this is a wig that I have I've purchased probably a, a good year ago. I don't wear her all the time. It's something that I pull out for when I want to feel particularly glam or if there's a special occasion or there's something going on. Um, and I feel like I just wanted to get her out and show you guys a, a review of what she looks like, how she moves um, and the colour of her and how comfortable she is. I absolutely love this wig. I have to say I love most wigs. Um, there are very few that I don't like. Um, there are some, but there are very few that I don't like. I, I tend to like them all and, and as my confidence grows, I get, I get more used to different styles. But I wanted to show you this. So this is Heidi. As I said, she's part of the John Reno Smart Lace Collection, which means she's lace fronted as always. So I'll try and come up close to the camera, but the lace front on this is great. Um, she's a mono top, so you can part her in any place on the top of your head. She's wefted at the back, so that means that the um, you've got those openings that let the air flow through. And she's quite a full wig. There's quite a lot of hair to this piece, which Initially, when I first started to wear wigs, when I lost my hair, um, I found that really difficult to get my head around because it just felt so heavy and just so hot and just so full. Whereas um, as I've become maybe more of a pro at wearing wigs, so what am I three years down the line? Um, it's something that I'm definitely much more used to. She's definitely got a lot of hair. My bio hair would never have done this. It would never have grown like this, but um, she is comfortable. I'm not hot in, I'm not hot. Uh, wearing her so as I said she um, is wefted at the back so you get that airflow through you've got the mono top so you can part her there you've got a lace front you've got the velvet ear tabs at the side as always and you've got adjustable straps at the back this is an average size so again um, all of my wigs from John Renner are average sized and they fit really well um, she's really comfortable She's just a fair amount of hair, but I am used to that now and I don't mind it, but it's just for, for you guys out there for the review purpose that you know she has got quite a lot of hair to her. She's that longer style with those beautiful waves and she just makes me feel quite glam. So it's sunny here in the UK today and I thought I'd put my polka dots on and my long blonde wig and I just thought, yeah, that'll make me feel glam on my day off. Um, so this is is Heidi and what a beautiful name she does have um, I've moved it slightly but she's got this um, bang or layer whichever you wish to call it um, which I've moved my part to sit here but when I first when I first had this wig from the box I think it was sitting across but you can move it around um, and it's just really comfy you know it's just really lovely there's a lot you can do with this wig and the colour of her is my trusty fave as always shaded pralines and cream which is 14 slash 26 s10 um so it's that great color that i love and as i said she's heidi so there are things you can do you know there's a lot i'm going to pull the hair around you can see i'm going to try and move my head for you so you can see how she moves she swishes quite naturally the waves are quite natural but you could pin her up um, as I, as you guys know, I'm not great with putting hair up, but you could pin her, you could do something to her or put half on your head, or I have worn her pinned round and like this to the side, which is, is quite a nice, I found was quite a nice look for me anyway, getting to grips with trying to put up longer hair, but this is Heidi. And I just, I love her. So I purchased this from uh, Mimo Wigs in the UK. Um, as I said, it's John Reno Smart Lace Collection. Um, but she's really comfortable. She's quite glam. She just makes me feel quite glam. I don't really feel like me when I wear this wig. I feel like somebody different. But anyway, that's fine. Um, so let me take the cap off and show you inside. So I'm going to just pull her off. As usual, I have my stocking top. So please don't be alarmed. Sort my top out. It keeps moving. There we go. Um, so I just want to show you the inside of this wig. I've got my camera set up differently, so apologies. But... Um, the lace at the front as always okay there is that mono top there so you can part anywhere in that section um there is your wefting as i said about the cooling air to flow through she has the velvet ear tabs as always always angle them in and keep them flat to your head and she's got the adjustable 
straps at the back. This is an average size wig. Um, I've not really had to tighten her too much. As I said, I don't wear her a lot. She is a wig that um, I pull out for when I want to feel glam or special occasions or when I want my hair to be long and, you know, and full because she has quite a lot of hair. Um, but I do love her. I do love her. Um, and she's a slightly lower price point than Rachel. And Rachel is the hand-tied version of this wig or similar, you know, very similar. So I have Rachel, so I might pull her out and show you that. But I'm just going to pop Heidi back on so you can see. Um, so excuse me as I pull on my lion hair, as I call it, or a um, bit of Rod Stewart. There is nothing wrong with Rod Stewart. But I saw him today on YouTube as part of the um, fundraising concert and he said he hadn't had his hair cut for month, uh, weeks and he looks like he's come out of the 1970s. And I often feel like a bit of Rod when I put my wigs on. That blonde. But there we go. I do love a bit of Rod Stewart, I have to say. This is just such a glam look, just such a glam wig. Um, uh, three finger rule as always, there we go, to make sure that I'm sitting where I want it to be. Angle my ear tabs in, which they are. Pull out any strays, because I do get strays. Sit back into my eyelashes. There we go. And, they, and you can see there's that layering or bang, um, which you can just adjust. And I've now got a hair in my eye. Um, which I'm, there we go. And you can tuck her behind, behind your ear. Um, you can bring a bit down. I have had this wig pinned up on my Instagram. There's a photo of, her, of this wig half up and half down. Um, and as I said, I've worn her to the side before. I'm not great at doing that, but I'm definitely getting better. So this is Heidi. John Renault, Smart Lace, uh, colour Shaded Prones and Cream, 14 slash 26 S10. Got to put my teeth in today. I'm struggling a bit with my words. Um, anyway, I think I'm a bit tired. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, the alternative to show you what hand tied looks like. Um, so I'm going to pull out Rachel. Um, so this isn't Rachel. This is Heidi. Uh, I've dropped the card, but that's, uh, wait, wait, here we go. <laughs> Heidi. So on my head is Heidi. Okay. And I'm just going to show you the version of Rachel. Um, which is hand tied. It's just slightly different. Sorry, I've got her bagged and netted. Because um, again, I'm not wearing her at the moment. I'm just turning into a wig addict. I just love buying wigs, saving up and buying them. So, this is Rachel, okay? Similar um, wavy length uh, wig. I would say she's got a little bit less hair than Heidi. I think that's fair to say. She's not as full as Heidi. So she's um, she's still got enough hair, but she's not as, uh, just not as full. Um, I don't believe there's permatease on this wig. I don't, it doesn't feel like it because I don't really like permatease. Um, but um, she's definitely a little bit fuller than Rachel. And the difference is that Rachel is, again, John Renault, Smart Lace, same colour, same style almost. It's just that Rachel is complete is hand tied completely hand tied which is why she's probably not as puffy and, and voluminous um and you can see that there she's hand tied which is really comfortable it's a beautiful cap i absolutely love hand tied wigs they're like the creme de la creme i guess um and i wear a hand tied wig for work every day um but they are at that higher price point and um initially i thought i had to buy a hand tied to get the comfort factor but as I've become more confident with wigs, I've realised that isn't the case. You can branch out and you can weft it is just as comfortable. And in fact, sometimes it's just as cooling. All I know is that I love um, a lace front and a mono top because that gives me versatility, either a mono top or a mono part. Um, but that is the difference. So that's the difference between a, a wefted and a hand tied. So hand tied, you know, the, hair's, the hair is individually hand tied into the cap wefted you've got those openings which when I showed you, showed you this wig earlier you can see and that lets the air flow through um, and so that is the difference there's obviously more man time man power woman power people power into making um, the hand tied wigs so hence their price point is more um, but they are both beautiful wigs and I love them um, equally um, and like I say I use them for my glam, my glam days. So um, thanks for watching. Just a quick review. Um, hope it's helpful. This is Heidi. This is how she moves. There we go. Swish her about. 
sat in the natural light again so to give you the the best um view of the color so that you can see she's got that rooting as always um and i love her i love my glamness today all right hope um you all take care and stay safe and see you soon bye